So I think of when I hear banjos nowadays. Besides the instrument, of course. Country song. Okay, so we got Psychic Pokemon versus Bear and Bird with grenades. Oh my gosh, that look <laughs> what? <laughs> he just spins them up when he has the grenade and it just explodes because it lasts so long. It's actually pretty sick. I also wonder if it's actually gonna be like Mewtwo outranges Banjo. And just he's just gotta watch out for the side B. Because that's the big threat. Because Mewtwo is still uh Unfortunately, a light boy. And, uh, let's see. I think he just tried to mix up. He thought he might jump or something. And he's gonna waste all of them. I feel like in this matchup, I feel like Banjo kind of relies on the side B a lot more than. Yeah, that's how he gets the kills. So that you're gonna get everything reflected at you. Besides your grabs, of course. But it's kind of hard to get in against Mewtwo if he's playing uh, his spacey wall. This is Danibo's main. Yeah. Of all the characters he has, he I, I've known for how long I've known Danibo's, he's been one to play a different character every single week, right? Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Sometimes it's Rob, sometimes it's Mewtwo, sometimes it's Fruit Ninja. Pac-Man. He's, 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 yeah, he's just, I think he still has to decide on a character. Oh. Well, uh, that, that changed real quick. It was, uh, Danibo's leading by about 50% and then it just turned around. There you go. That's a sick combo. He knows the percent's well enough to do that. I feel like he's one of those brains kind of guys, to where he knows a lot of the stuff about the game. It's just the execution that he needs to work on. He's kind of a labber. Yeah. Like, like I always talk to him, he knows about all these percents I'm talking about from my character of all things. Like, hey, it's like Rob. <laughs> he's talking about this and that, and it's just like, oh, okay. How do you know okay. this? <laughs> okay, you, you, know, you know lots of stuff, and uh, I spent a couple hours looking into this stuff, and it's just like, oh. Oh no! Oh, oh my I, I couldn't see around the microphone. I thought he was at a higher percent. <laughs> Randy up smash. It's pretty even so far though. You know, Lucas, it's been on hiatus for a while. This is like I think his he's, first I think he's a little rusty. No, it's, oh, it's guard. It's also a new character. Oh man. Ooh. It's pretty good recovery. That, that reflector just invalidates half a banjo though, I think. Because he can't just spam the eggs or else he's gonna get up. Oh, mash, mash. Ooh. So much end lag on up there, though, I think. Damn, he jumped into that. I think that was his jump read. He's kinda gotta hold shield against that, honestly. Even if he missed, he wouldn't die. Yeah. He too doesn't have that much kill. That's interesting. Mini, mini, uh, tail hitbox. Yeah, he's. He's trying to predict when the Shadow Ball is coming out and then he's using Side B because he has the invisibility or whatever. Grab? No. Uh, he got a little antsy there. Oh, I think that's dead. No. I thought he was out. He's got good recovery. I thought he was out of Wonder Wings over there. Uh, not a very good trade for Danibles there. I'm just playing a footsie. Oh, got out of it. Nice buffer your dodge. Who's gonna die? It might be Mewtwo. You don't mash well enough. Oh, no. Oh, well. So I, I can't play a te uh, teleport recovery myself. I just, I'm just too scared I'm just gonna just die. Because that happens to Palutena too. Oh yeah, just one little tilt on a stick and you just you're gone. Exactly. Let's see. Where is where is Mewtwo even like to go? I feel like he doesn't want space. Does he want space against Banjo? I mean I, I would he go to something like town? Hmm. To rely on the space, maybe? Kalos? I feel like bigger stages are better. Yeah. Because you can react to the side B. And then Banjo also has less effective range, too. Because his grenades and his side B only have so much range. And like you said, the reactability. Because it is quite a fast move. But you can't beat out the startup either. But I don't think I don't think Mewtwo has anything uh, really that fast to beat out side B. 
So I think that's a good choice. It could be a side EV of his own. Yeah. Ooh. He's got it. But I don't feel like side B is fast enough to beat out Banjo. Oh yeah. It's not a not a very good frame data character kind of thing. Because Lucas was talking about how uh, Banjo suffers against Rushdown pretty bad. Which I, can, I think I can see that. Because he can't use his side B as a panic option if he's constantly in the air and being juggled. It almost looks like that might be one of the main issues of this character is they get juggled. Because until you down air, you have nowhere, nothing that hits you to blow you, really. You have to kind of drift and use your back air. Because your forward air is so slow. So you have to kind of like Bowser and Smash 4 and just randy down air and hope you make it. I like the way Lucas is playing. Uh, very yeah. reserved. That's kind of how you have to play this character though. Especially online. I, I played online for like the first time in eternity. Oh my gosh, just, these banjos. They're just spamming grenade. And then just side B, but you can't react to side B online. So this is just stupid. It's like, uh, online. Yeah. I kind of wish Mooch had a little, little more power for his glass candy as he is. But I feel like that Fourier should have killed. Alright. Definitely. For how heavy he is, he doesn't have a lot of kill power. Yeah. I mean, everyone talks about the tail, but like that Fourier should have killed earlier. Should have that uh, one, 135 or 125 four air should have killed from the ledge like that. For the kind of move it is, he just got oh. He went for the fancy stuff. Almost went for the gentleman. Banjo seems to die if he has, wants to have a chance to come back in this set. And I'm not sure if it's looking very bright for uh, Mewtwo. Unless he can get a kill like that, but. Then you're you're at 70, 74. You want hell of an epic comeback at this point. Akron definitely affords to be more liberal with these side beats because he has like ten left. Yeah, he has ten shots. Don't need one. And <laughs> oh. see, he wants he wants it. As long as he has an SD, because I seen him in trading mode need SD occasionally if he got hit off stage. It's like oh, <laughs> there's like brownie face. All it takes is 50%. Ooh. You get some jank up smash kill. Come back. Is the comeback real? Could be it. He has to get back on stage though. He might be dead. Ooh. No. The grenade blew him up. What? Yo, is this is this gonna happen? Nah, I don't think it is. Oh! <laughs> he grabbed him out of the side B animation! Well, oh, he, he was being a little too aggressive there, though. I feel like he wasn't respecting the side B too much. Yeah, you kind of have to respect him, unfortunately. You just kind of have to let him recover. That was a sick setup by Lucas. 